friends welcome back if you are new here my name is justine i am a military spouse i do have three small children and i do work full time from home my four-year-old stays home with me while the other two are in school during the day so i try to get as much as done as i can on my lunch breaks and my breaks throughout the work week and then on the weekends is when i really try to tackle the big messes in my house Anyway, we're starting off in my bedroom. I just got back from visiting my family and my husband is finally home from his work trip. And so I did travel eight hours by myself with the three kids to see my family for a week. And it was really lovely getting to see them. I miss my family so much getting to see all my nieces and nephews and my sisters. It was just a good time, but I am happy to be back in my own house and getting things done. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about why I did not post a video last week. It's nothing crazy. I know a lot of you guys have been sending me well wishes because you know I like to post at least once a week if I cannot get anything else done. I normally like to go for two a week, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. With my new work schedule, I do work four, ti four times a week, Monday through Thursday for uh, 10 hour days. And then I also have the gym and then my kids started up sports. My youngest one is in soccer and my middle one is in baseball and my oldest one is in archery. So my week is jam packed full. And with my husband gone, which he tends to do a little bit more sometimes part of the year, um, I have to do it all myself. So that is part of why I could not get a video out last week, but I'll talk more again, like I said, later on in this video, if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you are. I do post, like I said, once a week, my channel is to help other parents who struggle to maintain their house, find ways to get that motivation or ways to help maintain it at least. So you're not spending your whole weekend cleaning because nobody wants to do that after a long work week. I'd rather be reading a book and just spending time with my family than cleaning. Anyway, let's just jump right into today's video and get this cleaning done.
This bathroom is a mess. I really needed to clean it, plus all of the unpacking that I still had to do. I honestly struggled this week to get anything done. If you didn't take it from my thumbnail, but I was in a severe depression episode for the last week and a half. And so I had no motivation to do anything. I still got my workouts in, but that's more just because I'm disciplined more than anything. It wasn't great workouts, but at least I got my body moving. I tried to eat my best. I tried to do everything I could, but the depression episode was so bad. I think it was mainly because my husband was gone. I was stressed out all the time trying to find time to do everything that I needed to get done in the house, plus my kids taking them everywhere. But I really can't tell you what caused it or why I really went into that funk. And so you can see with my house, like, yes, it's not terrible, but it was only a week. And to be honest, thankfully for my 12 year old, she was amazing. And the only reason the dishwasher got ran was because of her. She would load it and unload it and reload it and throughout the week. But however, you'll see, I have a lot of dishes I have to tackle in this video because I just let everything get so bad. I didn't want to cook. I didn't want to clean. I didn't even want to read a book. Like it was really challenging to pull myself out of the slump. I don't know if it was the weather because we got rain for the last two weeks every day. It was not warm. It was cold. It was just miserable, but we're now in the sunny weather. We're getting warm weather. We're in the eighties now finally. And I just feel like myself again. I'm up and moving a little bit more. I plan to film more this week, but it took me a whole week to film this video. And that's not normal. Normally it's about two or three days in a week for me to film, but I just could not get my bearings, even forcing myself to clean and unpack and get this bathroom done was a challenge, but I did it. I got it done. I definitely needed to clean the shower. It was disgusting. It's probably been weeks since I've actually scrubbed it. It's my least favorite chore is actually cleaning the shower and cleaning the glass on the shower doors. I feel like that's even worse than the regular shower part. So I'm trying to find easier ways to maintain and kind of clean my shower. But if you're one who hates cleaning your shower, I feel you so much. But I just wanted to talk about it a little bit more. I know a lot of you guys were wondering why I wasn't posting. And to be honest, it was just my depression. I could not pull myself out of it. I had, like I said, no motivation. So I'm sorry if I scared you guys because I know a lot of you were really worried. I'm fine. And if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely do and TikTok. But my Instagram, I post every day and you'll see updates about what's going on in my life and I was posting a little bit more over there about my depression and what's going on and why I'm not posting so if you are not over there make sure you are it's just a cleaning affair like it is here and I would just appreciate you guys coming over because it just means more people to talk to over there but anyway I know I'm rambling a little bit but I just wanted to really give you guys an idea of what I was going through last week and I'm finally out of it I feel so much better today
unpack the boy's suitcase and just starting their laundry. And then I'm going to go downstairs and tackle the kitchen. And if you're wondering, yes, this was the first load of laundry that I got done since we got back. I honestly had no motivation to even throw a load in the washer. Like that's how bad it was the last few weeks. But I finally got it in. I actually have like three loads of laundry actually to fold today. I did not film it because my husband is going to help me fold them. And I just figured it would be easier to just get it done in the background. But I at least got the laundry in. And then we're going to go downstairs and tackle the mess that is the kitchen and all of the dishes that have just been piling up. You're going to see me use the Jaws Cream Cleanser. I love this stuff. It's non-toxic, an amazing product. And you're going to see me use it on even my pots and pans because they got a little crispy from burning some food in them this week. So I needed something that was a little bit stronger with my Dawn dish soap and it got everything clean. I mean everything. You're going to see the big change in my dishes when I use it there, but I also mainly use it on my stove top, my glass stove top. It just works so good to get all of the crusty and grime and everything especially when you boil over water all of those burnt bits on your stove like it's just amazing without actually having to scrub and scrub and scrub wake up at your place wake up at mine same question all
While I finish up all of these dishes, how are you guys doing? I don't know if anyone else is struggling with the depression like I was or what's going on in your guys' life. If it's going good, let me know. I love to hear it. I love all the positives and the negatives. You know, we all have things that are going on in our lives that maybe someone else just needs someone to talk to you about. And I'm here for you guys. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing, what your positive and negative to the week are. My positive was definitely my husband coming back and actually feeling better. And then my negative obviously was my depressive episode, but I'm finally getting over it. And I hope that just being here and you guys watching along is giving you all of this cleaning motivation. Either you're cleaning along with me or you are just kicking back and relaxing and just feeling good while you do it. I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me Love it when we touch Every time I'm down here you make me smile You're the solution
My husband is outside cutting the grass because it's like a jungle back there. We actually had to charge the zero turn because the battery died. So he's out there with the weed whacker, just getting all these big weeds. We were trying to get our grass to seed because it was just so bare in the backyard. So we're trying to get our grass to look better this year, but it's not going our way. But he's out there doing that while I'm going to start deep cleaning the couch. This is going to actually take me two days just because, like I said, I was still coming out of that depressive episode. So I'm going to tackle here that here in a second and just finish up in the living room before I finally get to mopping the floors. Because like I said, it's been two or three weeks since I vacuumed or mopped. And with dogs, that is a nightmare. So just wait for it. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it The fastest way to clean my pillows is to throw them in my washer and just put them on no heat in the dryer or let them hang dry. It just gets all the stains out better than me taking my little portable cleaner and it would just take so much longer. So I just use my portable on certain spots on my couch cushions instead of taking those off unless I'm giving it a severe deep clean. But I did notice that one of my couch pillow covers is starting to rip at the seam. So I need to call the warranty people because I've only had this couch for about a year and I just don't want it to rip. It was pretty expensive. So I just have to reach out to them to do that. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Just stay with me now till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right 
forget to move this dog bed and vacuum under it so it can get a little gross but I noticed that there's a whole bunch of spider webs and like cobwebs and there was like little baby spiders all throughout so I ended up having to <laughs> really quickly do that because I just could not stand that so I definitely needed to get out and spray because I do not want spiders in my house Ooh, I hate them so much I'm around from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind that's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to defend Still it feels like I pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head on Vilma's bike Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving
That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys got all of that cleaning motivation. I hope that me just discussing that depression can be normal. It happens to all of us, no matter where we are. It does not discriminate. So if you're going through it, just know that I understand you. I understand how hard it can be to clean when you are in those episodes and just not knowing why you get like you do. I completely understand, but I'm just happy to be back and getting back into the groove of things. I'm always going to try to get videos out per week, at least one time right now with how crazy my schedule is, but hopefully back up to two here soon. It just depends on when I have time to film. But anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you do subscribe and hit that alert bell so you are notified when I do upload and make sure you head over to Instagram to follow me because like I said, you get updated the most about my life, about everything over there. And then TikTok, obviously I post a lot more book related content and then some working out motivation, sometimes cleaning. It just depends on what hits my fancy that day but we are getting things done over there as well. Anyway, I appreciate you guys again so, so, so much. I know I'm rambling, but I just want you guys to understand how much you mean to me, and I appreciate all of the kind words you guys left me during this last week. Anyway, I'll see you guys back next time.